so today as requested some of you have been asking me on how to properly brush or comb your hair without breaking your hair and to also avoid split ends and also some of you have been asking me on how to safely detangle your hair when it's knotted so today I haven't really properly brushed or combed my hair today so I can give you all an example so one thing I can really do suggest especially if you have long hair is to have a wide tooth comb that either looks like this or just basically any wide tooth comb will do and also a second one which is a must-have as well is to have a detangling brush or a wet brush just because these types of brushes are really great to use especially if you're the type of person who doesn't have all the time in the morning to just simply air dry your hair or blow dry your hair especially if you're not using heat as well so having a wet brush is really a must-have for everybody regardless if your hair is long short medium length so just find any wet brush any kind will do I'm using the Ico one right now and I'm also going to try and link some of the hair brushes that I find really is good for the hair so I'm just gonna put that in the description box so you guys can check it out it may not be the same as exactly as I'm using here but I find that those brushes and combs are really great for the hair especially if your hair is very knotted or if your hair is just literally fragile now this is the process of me detangling or combing my hair when it's dry so let's get started Okay, so for me, what I usually do before I even entangle my hair, um, I use this spray right here, and this is the Arrogant Oil Moisture Hair Repair. Now, I know this is not supposed to be a detangling um, spray, but if you have a detangling spray, you can use that, but I find that this actually helps with detangling my hair. I spray my hair first, just like that, and then... If my hair is really knotted, I take a, just a tiny, tiny bit of um, oil or any serum on my fingers. I rub it on my fingers just like this and detangle those little tangles first on my hair. I detangle them just like that before even using a comb. Now I actually do this because if I just go ahead, go straight ahead with um, using a detangling comb, sometimes I can hear those breaking sounds. <laughs> and also because it's a wide tooth comb, there are those little knots that usually my detangling comb couldn't really comb through. So that's exactly why I detangle my hair first just like this and then have my detangling comb run through my hair after that and then it's also good to work by sections so right now if I detangle the hair just like this it's not gonna be a struggle at all because I've already detangled those little knots versus having this one right here so you guys can see that is such a struggle right there I, I still have to like do this but if I already separated and detangled some of those little knots on my hair this right there wouldn't be a problem at all all right so here are the tips that I can share with you guys especially if you're the type who brushes your hair when your hair is wet so what I normally do before I even wash my hair or get in the bathroom is I usually just already detangle my hair before washing my hair just so that if I get out of the bathroom for me it's a lot easier to comb my hair if I already have detangled my hair before washing my hair and also tips on brushing the hair of course I feel like everybody knows this already whether you're using a breath brush a detangling brush or a detangling comb always start at the bottom just like this and then go ahead and work your way up just like that. If you just brush your hair from root to tip just like that without even detangling it from right here, of course you're gonna experience a lot of breakage that can lead to split ends. And also you guys, I think that the quality of the brushes and also your combs really does matter, you know, in saving your hair from further more damage or from breakage and from split ends. So for me, this is usually the regimen that I do. And also, I know a lot of people, when I say that sometimes when I detangle my hair, it'll take me 30 minutes to an hour. When when I say that, I really meant it. I'm not just exaggerating because it's a long process. And you guys, if you don't want any breakage, you have to be very, very gentle with your hair, especially when you're brushing it or even when you're just styling it. And also do notice that there are certain brush or combs, especially brushes, that actually makes your hair appear shiny, especially this one, just because it gives you a really nice, sleek, straight polished look so this is why i really like this brush right here and it also makes my hair feel very soft and also another tip for you all who are looking for good brushes and combs i really do suggest going for um, combs or brushes that have flexible bristles because it's flexible it's not going to tug on your hair it's not going to break your hair also you'll notice that you'll have less 
fallouts, hair fallouts or you know hair breakage because the bristles are not going against your hair. If you guys get what I mean, it's not like it's stiff. So having a good brushing technique and also having the right hair tools for your hair is definitely going to save your hair from split ends and further more breakage. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.